get a pledge first, I guess. Hi, welcome to the Hampton Cable Committee. Can we stand for the pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's April 18th, 2017, Hampton Cable Committee meeting. We call this meeting uh, primarily because of what uh, went on last week. Uh, we had a media coordinator, and now we don't. And for whatever reasons, um, I thought we should have a meeting, discuss what we're going to do next. Um, and I'll be honest with you. I was disturbed by the uh, editorial and by the article in the Seacoast Online, which I thought was one-sided, uh, didn't have all the the facts. Did everyone get a chance to read it? I have copies of both. Do you? If you'd like to read it. Um, got it. Got it. I just want to let it, uh, Jim did an incredible job last night uh, explaining his point and, and his, his his side of it, but I just want to let it let everybody know that the reason Jim got picked wasn't because he was the most qualified. Uh, there were other applicants. Number one applicant, uh, we'll call him number one, uh, was unreachable for the interview, either by email or by his phone, both disconnected. So he was out. The number the second um, applicant. Um, very uh, highly uh, qualified uh, in the position now at, a, at another station, uh, you know, and uh, so he came in for the interview uh, only to find out that he had just accepted another job. He was a younger man, probably in his 40s, and he wanted to work at night, which was not acceptable. So that was number two. Number three, uh, when it came to his interview, called up and canceled and didn't reschedule. So all he had was Jim. So that's if, if one of the other uh, candidates would have come, had their interviews, uh, and I, there's no way that they wouldn't have gotten the job over Jim. Just wanted to let you know that. And uh, Jim was, the time he was do here, was doing an incredible job. Uh, he, was, he was very energetic. He was excited about it because he's a town guy, and he wanted, to, he wanted to take the station to a next level. And... Uh, because without a media coordinator, we're not. We're going to be the same. We're going to have poor, as uh, said in uh, our, in the uh, in the uh, editorial. You know, poor quality. So poor sound, poor poor uh, picture. Because we we none of us here. We all work, okay. And uh, we don't have the time to come in. And, and research bid, uh, research equipment and uh, fill out bid forms and, and uh, call vendors and it's just not enough time. We, we all fix work problems. Time and fix, we, we put out fires is what we do. Yeah. That's what we have time for, do meetings and put out fires. So we're gonna, hopefully, the uh, selectmen are going to, um, I mean not the selectmen, but the town's going to uh, uh, repost the position so we can get it filled because we, we need it we if you know every town around has at least a part-time media coordinator the school has a part-time media coordinator he does, he does an outstanding job and he, he's advancing them beyond us because we can't keep up um and, and another point i want to put out because my name was in that article and uh and that bothers me uh, there, there was, there's never been any, since I've been here for 13 years, there's never been any selectman or any person in this town that's ever tried to persuade me to do anything. Um, and uh, I just want to make that clear. And I, I, I take offense to it, that they, they would, uh, that, that article be written like that without even talking to me, not that I enjoy talking to the paper or anything, but I would have gave, I would have told you what I just told you. And, but I didn't get that chance. He just wrote it the way he wanted to write it. So, anyways, and I, I had, I had, a, I had intention today, and I, I don't know what, to stepping down as 
as of the 12th of next month as a volunteer and as a uh, as chairman but uh, Unfortunately, my conscience wouldn't, is, is making it hard for me. And I know my brother's in the back room, and he's cursing me right now. Because <laughs> I can't leave it, I can't do that to the people who, who enjoy Channel 22, who, who, um, who, who rely on it. You know, a lot of the elderly, they can't get out to the meetings. They enjoy, and, and for us, for me to quit and and possibly the rest of the board to step down would be would be uh, difficult. Now I'm not speaking for anybody else. Anybody else can do whatever they wish. I just, I want, I, I am, I'm asking the people out there, we need more volunteers, we need more committee members. Uh, we need to, we need to take this to the next step uh, and, and be better than Exeter or Northampton or, or, or Amesbury. You know, you want to get up to those levels where they, they have a, you know, they have HD. They have uh, they have their own shows and uh, and uh, things like that. And we just we just can't do it. I mean, Can you explain that position a little better. The position on the, on the, on the part time position on the part time position be a twenty hour uh, twenty hour a week position at twenty dollars an hour. There's no benefits, um, uh, but it is a uh, flexible time during the day. You have to it has to be during the day during the work day. Uh, you would you would uh, you would be the, responsible for maintaining the equipment, keeping up the inventory. Um, um, you'd be responsible for putting together bids uh, and inf information like that. Um, you'd be working. Uh, you'd be doing commercial, maybe uh, producing some commercials like uh, John does for the or not commercials, but public. Uh, PSAs. PSAs. Like service announcements. Yes, <clears throat> for the for the town, either with the rec department or building or whoever needed his services. I know the uh, the fire department's very disappointed in this because he had he already made plans to uh, start some uh, PSAs for the fire department. And I had to inform him last night that that's not going to happen right away. Uh, so if anybody's out there um, and wants to, it has a background in uh, audio, video, sound. And would like to uh, do this, especially if you're retired, such as John and Jim were. I think they're out, that's an outstanding candidate. If somebody's retired and won't, you know, jump from this job to another job, minute it shows up, you know, full time job. Um, you know, uh, we just need to get this filled uh, because uh, you know I've been doing this for. Since 2004, and I, and it and I have a <laughs> have a new grandchild, and I uh, would like to spend time with her, and uh, you know, and and my family, and uh, but anyways, uh, I do, I go around the board and see, and you can have your say. So, Bill. Well, I mean, I I wrote a bunch of bullets down here, and you've you've hit on a lot of them. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that people would think that, that we actually doing anything shady. Uh, there is a what I guess would call a uh, a vocal minority that a lot of people seem to pay attention to that has seemed to affect how boards conduct business. Uh, we're not one of them. We never have been. Like you said, we, we have never been pressured into doing anything shady at all. That's one of the reasons why we wanted to televise our meetings, so that they know what's going on. Uh, we haven't gone crazy with money that we've gotten. Uh, it's what us it's done is it allowed us to actually hire somebody part-time Lee found out that uh, in one of the contracts that you guys that in in your selectman's board were talking about the the cable franchise fee and the school getting a certain amount. And what they were looking for based on the current trend is that we were going to run out of money 
for our own budget if this continued. So it was brought up at that time that, what did you say, 2015? Mm -hmm. That the fee be raised. It wasn't us that did it. Uh, and I voted against it when it came up, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, it just. What he wanted the 40%, but not the 100%. I, we were making do with what we had. It wasn't great. You know, we, if we had to hire somebody, it was going to be tight. And the school was just going to have to, to deal with a smaller amount. Right. Um, you know, I. Mr. Waddell's um, seemed to be a perfect fit. Uh, he was very excited about what he was doing. He came in, he started working, and he did a great job at what he was doing. And he was only here for a short time. Uh, you know, I feel bad for him, and it's it's put us in a bind. It's put Brian in a bind. He gets one day off a week, and I'd swear for the last two years he spent that day here trying to get business done that he can't do at night or during the week because he's working. Uh, it's just, um, I am also uh, ready to, to just hang it up. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time also, and it's, it's almost the straw that, that uh, broke the camel's back. We come in, we try to, we fill meetings, we're the committee, we fix broken equipment, we do parades, we do sporting events, we do deliberative sessions. We, we, what you see is, and the people behind, we, we're, the, we're everything. Most boards don't do everything. They have other people to do the work itself. They have the ability to be their own committee and govern. We don't. So that's probably part of the reason why we don't do very many meetings. We do basically average of three meetings a week, just yeah, about. Three to four, depending. You know? uh, so, I mean, we need to, to start to, to separate into a committee, a governing body, a group of people willing to do the meetings and other events, and then a media coordinator is what we need. And without that, we just can't continue the way we we're continuing. Peter? Yeah, I would just uh, reiterate what Bill said, that the reason we first asked for the media coordinator was because we knew things were going to get to a non-sustainable point. Again, Brian always, the first phone call for any issue, come coming down here at the drop of a hat maybe wanting to step down as chairman but we're in a bind because none of us have that flexibility to have that availability I don't even have the technical knowledge Brian has the historical knowledge of what he has but I've been here so long so there's really no one to fill his shoes right now I mean right. everybody's replacing him so. um, but that was the reason we wanted that big part, we wanted that media coordinator so that we could kind of progress and move forward. Mm -hmm. And we were hoping to basically stave off where we find ourselves right now, which is not in a great place in terms of moving forward. Um, so I think a lot just hinges on this media coordinator person, you know, um, and I'll just leave it at that. Well, do you have anything? Um, I just have a couple of things, and, and, and it's more in response to Mr. Silberdick's um, editorial in the newspaper. Um, first of all, one of the things, I went back and I was looking at the uh, Board of Select meetings back to 2015, and one of the, one of the things that he, uh, Mr. Silberdick, put in here was that, um, you know, Jim Waddell went to the board uh, asking for raises for the committee and the workers, not the committee, but the workers. And um, actually that 
occurred when it was under Ben. Ben's watch. It was a while, yeah. Uh, I, I ben can't. brought that up originally. The new board of selectmen came in. Ben decided not to run, and, and Jim was the next uh, representative from the board of selectmen. And when we were going through our minutes, he it was unfinished business, and so that is the reason why it was brought by Jim. It was originally done by Ben Moore, and I just wanted to make that perfectly clear. Um, another thing they talked about in here is uh, the fact that um, you know that he knew all along he was going to be going for this position, but I, you know. I got very angry when I read this because, again, we all have full-time jobs. Um, we are volunteering to do this, and to make it seem like we're hiding things was very, very distressing for me. And so I just wanted to bring up a couple of points, and one of the points being at one of the meetings, in fact, it was um, Jim Waddell, um, that would be November 30th of 2015, that said that he was the one that said that we really need to look into the 25% um, going to cable and the set because the other 75 goes into the town. It was Jim Waddell that said we needed to look into this because he was concerned about losing that money on the um, tax rates. So to clarify, um, I wish the facts were, were, uh, were clear. And I have nothing more to say on Mr. Silverdick. Um, the other thing is, I along with, I, I understand how, how hard Brian works. I film very few meetings, and it's when we need a lot of people. Um, and we need somebody to climb up on the things. <laughs> um, and, it's, and it's sad because everyone in this room, I have not been on the board for very long, nor have I been filming for very long, but my husband has been involved in it. My son has been filming for a long time. And they're dedicated to this committee. They're de they are dedicated to cable. Um, you know, I, I, I guess if Brian was to walk away from this, I would be behind, behind him too because I don't have enough knowledge to even... <coughs> do anything um, in, in, the, in the aftermath of that. So it's a very, it's, to me it's very sad. It's very sad that they didn't get any um, information from us and just spew things in the newspaper. So, and I guess that's it for me. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I, you, just, I know um, you just came in. I, I just heard about this today, actually. Yeah. I, um, I had a meeting this morning with the superintendent, and she, she told me about the article. I was very, very surprised because I had talked to Jim ahead of time when he actually had told me he was interested in seeking the position. And mm -hmm. He said he had gone to the um, town manager and spoken to a lawyer and thought it was yeah. everything was above board, and unfortunately, um, things didn't work out. No. And I, I'm very disappointed that it didn't work out. As I know, he um, was very enthusiastic about the job and wanted to do a good job for the yeah. station. Yeah. And I actually look forward to working with him. I, I thought you might, yeah. Um, I thought we a good match. But on another token, um, I've asked you many times if you ever need someone to fill in or you need someone to volunteer, I'm, I'm available. You're a busy man, I, though. But I live here in town. I know. And right. if you're ever caught short, um, until we get somebody to fill the position full time, um, I'm happy if I'm available to volunteer. I appreciate that, John. Okay. Leslie? Yeah. Well, this is my first meeting on this committee, uh, but it's not my first, <laughs> first day in town. Um, you know, uh, I, I was disappointed that uh, things turned out the way they did because um, I think Jim could have made some good changes here. Uh, I understand his reason for resigning, and I, and I, and I respect that. Um, that being said, we still need to fill this position. I'm hoping that you don't step down right away uh, because it's going to take us some time to do that. I was in the town manager's office today saying that we had to get this, get working on this position and that I was coming to this meeting tonight and I'll be in the town manager's office tomorrow with the same same thing and, and the same message that's going on here today. Uh, Brian, you have done an excellent job. I mean, you, 
you've been here a long time. I was still, a fire, still in the fire department when you were working here. And you and I go back a long way. You do, yeah. And everybody on this committee uh, does a great job time, time in, day in, day out, year in, year out. You guys have done a good job. Uh, for the comments that were made in the paper, I won't even discuss them because um, I think this paper does a fairly poor job at reporting. Uh, and that, that goes to show right there. Uh, but I think um, you guys do a good job. You work with what you have. You're doing the best job you can. Like you said, you're all doing part-time. You all have other jobs. Everybody does. This is not, if, they, if, we, if the town wants better service, then we got to step up and we got to fill that position. So it's going to be my recommendation that we start tomorrow with, with uh, reposting that position, finding somebody we can, and maybe get you guys some more help other than some of your volunteers too. And I hope the people out there are listening that if they do have any inclination they, right. in uh, run, uh, coming in and learning about it, right. that's Isn't the easiest thing you can do. Come in and learn. See if you might like it. Yeah, even some college students, if they're, you know, if they even for the summer, you know, give some of the guys a break. We'll, we'll, you know, they can get some, some uh, community service. They can get a few dollars, and they can, uh, and they can work. You know, it's nights. It's mostly nights. I mean, uh, there's a lot of things. If we do get a media coordinator, I mean, I'm sure he'd like to have somebody. I mean, we have we have a few young people already. Um, you know, we have we there's interest in the rec department. Wants us to film softball games, but. You know, it's I kind of put that on hold right now. I mean, like we've we've got a lot that can be done. We just need we just need volunteers. So if we can, if there's anybody out there has their their son's not doing anything, their daughter's not doing anything, and that is a paid. It position. is. It's a it's a you stipend. Know. You do get a stipend. Right. You know, and it's and it's if you're interested in that field, there's no way. I, I don't think there's any better way to do it than get some on you know on the job experience. But so, you had one kid who went to WMAR, right? Yes, he did. Well, he went to BZ. Okay. And uh, he was, yeah, he did. He got, he started out here, and uh, and he was very good. And uh, he ended up going to BZ as a sound tech, where he is now, I believe. Well, so one of the awesome. guys uh, was filming for the Celtics. That was him. Yeah, he was. He was filming for the Celtics. Mm -hmm. He was a grip. I mean, he was. He was like a cable holder. That's how he started. But then he moved up the line, got a full time job as a sound off technician. So. It's there. I mean, as as you know, if the high, any high school student needs something, you know, wants to do, it's not it's not every day. You know, you can even have a, a first job and do this at night. Do some meetings at night. You just I don't know what the age limit you have to be to work past nine, but uh, they usually meetings don't usually last more than three hours. Yeah, more than three hours. Well, normally no, no later than eleven, anyways. So. No, right. But they have they have cut back quite a bit with the newer boards. Have, have I wonder if there'd it. be any students at. Um, SST, Seacoast well, Technology, yeah. that... They, um, I don't know if they have, they offer any classes like that. Yeah, they do. They That's do. Well, well, yeah. Digital communications. Right, yeah. right. So you know, um, I do know somebody that works there, so I will email Lori and see if, her, if she can pass me on well, that would be to great. that person and see if maybe we can get... Does Winnicott, kind of, what's Winnicott kind of have... Anybody know? No, they have. Well, they have a brand new studio, so and they and they do a great job, just like uh, mm. the uh, SU. High uh, school does a nice yeah, job. They do. They got a brand new studio. <coughs> all HD. Any way to get in touch with the, whoever is up there, as far as their? Do they have? Yeah. A uh, well, we've done that in past years, and it, we've gotten maybe one kid, and and then they just it kind of fizzles out. You know, it just doesn't sustain. So. I mean, so I'm, I'm yeah, hopefully, you know, I don't think a lot of kids watch Channel 22, but uh, maybe their parents do, and they can... Uh, or their grandparents. Or their grandparents, <laughs> whoever. They can say, hey, I've got, you know, I've got such and such may want to do this, so I'll speak to them, and they just have to get a hold of... Who would they have to get a hold of? I mean, I mean, I gladly they email me if they want. Uh, you email you or email the town manager or... Right. My email is on the, on the web. Jamie. Yeah, or ja yeah, or Jamie Sullivan, the town manager, or the uh, assistant town manager, or me. It's all on the town. Our, our email addresses are on the town website, and uh, feel free to do that. Um, I think anybody who's interested can at least come in and see how a meeting is filmed. Yeah, come on in. Right. Come on in. See what we do. You know, um, it's not. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's not a high the stress. Doors, the doors open. It's there's no secrets. You know, it's just. Yeah. Nope, just if you're interested on. and you find out you're not interested, then that's fine too. Maybe be part of uh, us upgrading and uh, moving up, you know, doing more and bigger and better things. Mm -hmm. So, 
Well, I think that's that's all I have to say. That's all. I mean, we have really nothing to. I have no. You know, we have nothing to discuss. I, right. Any any other business that anybody wants to talk about or kind of. Well, we have to. We uh, don't say have to, but. I think I appreciate what you say as far as taking this to the town manager. Um, and I'll take it to the other board of selectmen too when we have our meeting next week. Okay. I'll report back on what. No, I, I, I fully, I, I know what I, I fully in, uh, planned on resigning tonight and we, giving it a time limit, but right. we I've been were, thinking had, about this for two nights. We and, had planned on exactly. actually giving a drop dead date right? because it's just been nothing was changing and we didn't see a way and, to and do we anything have, about it other than to basically give you an ultimatum and say as of this day we're done yeah but i, I two days have gone by and i've and that article set me off it did and and the uh, the article and the, and the editorial set me off and it shouldn't i should be thicker skinned but i'm not okay i'm not a politician I'm, i never will be um and and losing Jim there, I mean, I, Jim's a nice guy. I think he's just a great, great selectman and and a great uh, townsperson. And uh, and I and I felt I felt his pain. You know, I felt I, I just didn't like seeing that happening to him. Um, but I've had two days. And again, if I live through my brother, because he's going to be angry about this, <laughs> um, I just can't. I I can't. Just do that to the. I can't do that. You know, I can't just quit like that. I, I want. I sometimes you just want to, but you just can't. But uh, I. But we have to have change. And, and it's you guys. It's up to you what you want to do. You know. I. I just. I just can't do it right now. I just have to st stick it. I just. I just want to get it done. You know. I just want to get this media coordinator thing. I. You know. And I've got some other things I have to. I just can't leave unfinished business. It was a long process, too, from when the selectmen approved the funds for the media coordinator. Right. And it was a long time till we finally got someone in. Right. And then we just, to have that not work out. It was a, it was a, tough. it was a kick. Yeah, yeah, it was a kick. But, uh, and, and, you know, again, and you know, we have all this, we have money in the fund and nothing's changed in a year. Yeah. Well, because it's, we have to get this media coordinator. It's, right. we have to get somebody here to, to run it. He runs. You need a leader channel. of the show. We need a leader of the show. And and in the in the uh, article it says you know again, not knowing what they're talking about, I don't believe. Say he would be assisting me, and that's not true. I'm the I, I, he'd be running the show. This this media coordinator would be in charge of everything. You know, we'd be the committee like we are, but we'd still be the worker bees. You know, and and do that. But he'd be in charge. You know, as far as day to day so again anybody out there you know uh, we could use some help um, and uh, anybody knows anybody especially a retired person I think that would be I think it'd be ideal it's worked out for, for uh, channel 13 uh, because he's not planning on I don't think you're planning on going anywhere and getting another career no. going you, just, <laughs> you like what you're doing you know, it's, it's, a, it's a, yeah, so that's what we need. We need to try to keep somebody, sustain them for a few years instead of popping right out. So, anyways, that's that's all I have to say. I'm, I hope you guys are okay with me and my flip-flop in here, but I, I, I unfortunately had time. When I have time, I hate think, and I thought for the last two nights I've been waking up thinking about it, and I just have to, uh, I have to do it. I can't do that. I just, I want, you know, sometimes you want to lash out, but I just can't do that. Well, the majority of the citizens of Hampton, I'm glad you took time well, to think about it. I, well, it's going to be tough to replace them. Absolutely. Well, everybody, like I, I said, just want you to know that. Everybody's replaceable. But uh, anyways, that's all I have. Um, um, we have a motion to uh, adjourn. What do we have? Do I make that motion? I don't even know. I'll do it. I'll second, I'll second it. it. All in favor? Aye. Good night. Aye.